Today we're going to look at how you can create a pocket solar system. A solar system that you can fit into your pocket. To do this, we're going to need a about one meter of tape register. We're going to need about one meter of cash register tape and also a writing utensil. Um, what we want to do first off is you want to spread out this register tape on a table and at the two ends on the very edge we want to put a small dot. Now we're going to be talking about our sun and the eight planets that are in our solar system. We're also going to be using Pluto, um, a dwarf planet, and also talk about Eris, another dwarf planet. And so what we have now is our long register tape and on the two ends we have two very small dots on the very edges, um, much like this. Okay, and what we want to do on one of those, we want to write Sun next to one and Pluto next to the other one. Okay, and so what this represents is our solar system from the Sun to Pluto. And what we're going to do is we're going to then fill in the rest of this register tape and get an idea of where the planets are in our solar system. So the first step we want to do is we want to take the Sun and Pluto and stick them on top of each other and make a crease halfway down our register tape. Okay, once we've made that crease, we can go ahead and open this up and set it back on our table. And we're going to ask the question of what do we think is halfway between the Sun and Pluto? Which planet or which set of objects is halfway? Okay, in reality, it is actually the planet Uranus. Okay, so many people are surprised by that, thinking that Uranus is halfway. Um, Many people will put things like Mars or, or Jupiter halfway. And so now what we have is the Sun halfway in between is Uranus and at the other end is Pluto. Now the Pluto, Pluto is about 40 AUs or astronomical units um, away from the Sun. And if you don't remember an astronomical unit is the distance from the Sun to the Earth or 93 million miles. And we use that term astronomical units just to help us to um, have a simpler term. It's kind of like we use feet instead of inches, um, but in this case it's more like a measuring stick just for our solar system. And so <clears throat> often people again as I said are surprised that Uranus is halfway between sun, the Sun and Pluto. Um, again that's 40 AUs away and Uranus is right about 20 AUs from the Sun. So it is actually halfway. Okay what we want to do next is we want to stick again the Sun on top of Pluto, make our crease again that we made, and then we want to do that a second time. We want to fold from our crease up to where the Sun and Pluto are and make another crease. Okay, when we go ahead and open that up, we now have an additional crease halfway between the Sun and Uranus and an additional crease between Uranus and Pluto. So let's start with the one between Uranus and Pluto. And we think about which planets could be there, and we only have one left, and it's Neptune. Okay, so Neptune goes on our crease between Uranus and Pluto. And again, we just use a very small dot. Um, because if we're shrinking our solar system this much, our planets are going to be very, very, very small. In fact, we wouldn't be able to see most of them. Um, and so our question is, is how far actually is Uranus um, and Pluto and Neptune from the Sun? As we said, Uranus is about 20 AUs, Pluto is about 40, and Neptune is about 30 AUs from the Sun, so right in the middle of those two. Okay, so our next question is, if we're looking between the Sun and Uranus, excuse me, and, yeah, the Sun and Uranus, what would be halfway between those? Okay, and again, many people will say it's Jupiter, it's Saturn, um, it is actually Saturn. Okay, so the next closest planet to the Earth is halfway between the Sun and Uranus. Okay, all right, so now we have the Sun, we have Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto all on our piece of tape. Okay, the next thing we want to do is we want to take from the Sun to Saturn, we want to fold that in half. Okay. Uh, when we open that back up, we're going to again ask ourselves, what is between halfway between the Sun and Saturn? 
remembering that Saturn is about 10 AUs from the Sun. Okay? Um, give you a second to think about that. What would be halfway between the Sun and Saturn? Okay, it is actually Jupiter. Okay? Saturn is about 20 AUs away, and Jupiter is about 10 AUs from the Sun. Okay, so again, so many people are surprised at the distances that are between our planets and how far away they are from our Sun. So let's look right here for a minute between our Sun and Jupiter. And we have to ask ourselves, what do we have to fit into this space? We have to fit Mercury, Venus, Earth, Mars, and the asteroid belt all in this space. While in all of this space, we have fit um, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and our dwarf planet Pluto. Okay, so we're looking again uh, at the distances between our planets, how far away they are from each other, and some patterns that we start to see. All right, so let's go ahead and fold from the Sun to Jupiter. Stick those on top of each other and make our crease again. And when we open that back up, we have a crease again halfway between the Sun and Jupiter. We want to ask ourselves, what should go on that crease. And I'll give you a minute to think of, of what you think should go there. Okay, it's actually our asteroid belt. Our asteroid belt is about three um, AUs from the Sun. So we're looking at, in this case, um, we're looking about two and a half. And, and the asteroid belt is about 2.75. So we're not exactly perfect. It should be a little bit farther a little bit closer to Jupiter, but this is pretty good for our model. Okay, so we have our asteroid belt, and this includes another one of our um, dwarf planets, um, Ceres, which is in the asteroid belt, uh, and it is there as well. Okay, so let's again take from our sun and to our last object, fold that, and make a crease. Okay, so now our question is, is in this space, we have to fit Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars. Okay, we're a lot of planets compared to all the space that we took up here. So we folded it in half, and our question is, is what is halfway between those? And following our pattern that we've seen, halfway is the planet Mars. We can go ahead and put a small dot and write Mars. And again, these um, planets that we are putting on here are not representative of their actual size. They would be much, much smaller. But in order for us to actually see them on this solar system, we actually need to you know, put a mark there. OK, so what we're going to do now is a little different. We're going to fold. We have to fit Mercury, Venus, and Earth all in this very small space now. So what we're going to do is we're going to fold from the Sun to Mars. And without unfolding it, we're going to fold it one more time. Okay, well, so we're going to end up creasing it twice. So we're going to fold from the Sun to on Mars, crease that, and then we're going to take our crease and put it on top of Mars and crease it again. Okay, when we open that up, that will give us three lines. Okay, so we're going to label each of those, one for Mercury, one for Venus, and one for Mars. Excuse me, and one for Earth. Okay. So now what we have is we've got the Sun, Mercury, Venus, Earth, and Mars very close together um, in comparison to the rest of our planets and near our Sun. And again, as a reminder, Mercury is about 0.4 AUs from the, um, from the Sun. Venus is about 0.72 AUs. And obviously, Earth is going to be 1 AU. So we can see that what we've got is pretty close um, to that. Mars is 1.5 AUs away. The asteroid belt is um, 2.77 AUs away. Jupiter is 5.2 AUs away. Saturn is 9.54 AUs away. Uranus is 19.2 uh, AUs away. Neptune is 30.2 AUs away. And Pluto is 39.5 AUs away. Okay? So we can again pull this out and look, and we can see a very close approximation of where the planets are in our solar system. And we start to see that they aren't evenly spaced in, in any way. Um, <clears throat> our inner planets are very, very close to our sun, while our outer planets are much farther away 
and there's much more space between them than our inner planets. Okay, in addition to this, we said we'd talk about Eris, another of our dwarf planets. So, so far we've talked about Ceres, Eris, and Pluto in our dwarf planets. Now, Eris is a, a special dwarf planet. And it's part of its year, um, its orbit around the sun, it is closer to the sun than Pluto, but just barely. It's just under that um, 40 AU mark. Um, but in another part of its year, it's much, much farther away. Um, it can be up to, I believe, <clears throat> um, 97 AUs away from the sun at its farthest. And at its closest, it's at 38 AUs. So just inside of Pluto's orbit, but much, much farther away. And so we want to think about, you know, if we're talking about the closest approach that, er that Eris makes, it's just inside of Pluto. But at its farthest approach, it's multiple pages away. And we can figure out um, if our piece of paper is 40 AUs long, is representing 40 AUs long, um, how many pieces of paper or how much farther would we need to go to put Eris on our piece of paper. We can also think about things of, you know, if uh, the next closest star, Proxima Centauri, is 4.3 light years away, where would it be on our sheet of paper? How, how many sheets of paper or how far would we have to go to get our closest sun on here. So a few pieces of information that we need. We need to first remember that Proxima Centauri is 4.3 light years from the sun and one light year is about 65,000 AUs. And remember that our piece of paper represents about 40 AUs. Okay, so <clears throat> with that information of Proxima Centauri being 4.3 light years away, and the light year being 65,000 AUs, we can pretty close to represent how far away it would be from our sun and how many pieces of paper we would need. 